Hi, it's Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. Today, in the shortcut series, I'm going to show you a couple of features about layers. First of all, I would like to show you how to use a keyboard shortcut to merge all your layers, all your visible layers, onto a new layer. That's Command Option Shift E, or on PC, Control Alt Shift E. So if you press that keyboard shortcut, you will get a new layer combining all the visible layers from your layer structure. It's quite useful. And uh, let's just see if I turn uh, off this layer and turn off another layer group. Again, if I press Command, Alt, Shift, E, it will create that combined layer. Make sure that you have a layer selected which is visible because this option only works then. So if let's say I select this one which is not visible and I use the keyboard shortcut, it won't work. There is another useful feature to delete all empty layers. So let me just go back to this uh, layer group and we can search for it in CS6, that's a new feature. We can search for these empty layers by going to the attribute option here in the search options and select empty. It will show all the empty layers. We can select them or delete them. But you also have these scripts under file scripts. You can choose delete all empty layers. And let's see if we run this script, it should get rid of all these layers here. Yes, the script worked. Now no layers match the filter. So you can do it manually or if you have a previous version of Photoshop, you can do it from the script options. So once again, file, scripts, delete all empty layers. And also here you can find another useful feature called flatten all layer effects, which will rasterize all your layer effects and also flatten all masks, which will apply the masks onto the selected layers. Again, if you want to make the file size smaller or you want to uh, just make it a bit more difficult for someone to make changes to your files, which is sometimes not the case, but in some cases that's what you need, then you can choose these options. So make file size smaller or make the editability a bit more difficult. Now, let me show you one more thing. If you have a layer with layer styles, like this one here, the courses, as you can see, I have a stroke effect on it, that uh, blue stroke around it. If I want to rasterize this, uh, this effect, but not onto the same layer, but as a separate layer, you have the option for that by right clicking on the effects and choose create layer. So if you choose that option, then you will get a separate layer with the style, with that stroke, and the type layer se separately as well. So now I can move this layer separately, even though it was a stroke, now I can make it a bit 3D by moving it around like this. Let me do the same with the training. So I'm going to right click, choose create layer, and then I just need to move this just like with the courses a bit down to create that 3D effect. Obviously there is a disadvantage to this because now we can't control the size of the stroke or its color. So we have to do everything now manually, but changing the position is now really easy. So these are just a couple of examples of saving time with layers, but in another tutorial, I will talk more about working with layers. Thanks a lot for your attention and I hope you will join me next time.